If you need to update your deck, go to 50cards.shop. Get 5% off your next purchase when you use code NEXUS. Hey everybody, welcome back to another deck profile. And today we're finally doing some Digimon content. So I have my Gallimon X antibody deck profile. I've been having a lot of fun with Digimon, so I kind of want to show off my deck and kind of talk about my experiences playing this game and kind of like transitioning or kind of adding in Digimon to my card game pool on top of Vanguard and talking about my experience with that. So without further ado, let's just jump into the deck profile. Starting off, we have our Digi-Eggs or our Digitamas. Digimon. Uh, Digimon's inherited is if this Digimon has Gilmon, Graumon, or Gallimon in its name, you get to draw a card. I'm only doing the four eggs, and I know you're allowed to run five, and I usually would run the Gurimon, but uh, I don't want to take the chance of, you know, seeing the Gurimon. I'd, I'd rather just stick with the uh, the Gigimons. I have yet to actually go all the way into the fourth egg as, as of yet, but for now, until that day, I think I'm just going to stick with my four Gigimon eggs. Going into our rookies, we got our four Gilmons from Start Deck 7. So a majority of this deck are just play sets of cards from the Start Deck. So if you want to get an idea of how to build this deck, you want to just pick up one of the Start Decks and kind of start adding stuff from there. It's a great way to get into the game, which is essentially what I did. So what Gilmon does is if your opponent has a level 7 or higher Digimon and this is in the battlefield, you can digivolve Gilmon into a Gallimon for a memory cost of four by ignoring the regular digivolution requirements. So you can just warp digivolve into Gallimon, and its inherited is when an opponent's Digimon is deleted, you get to draw a card. Drawing cards is nice. Following through with the rest of our rookies, we have another Gilmon. This is the one from X2. So what this Gilmon does is on play, you look at the top four and you can search for anything with Gramon or Gallimon. In addition, you can also add a Takato from the top four to your hand, so you can get up to two cards potentially. The rest go to the bottom of your deck. Inherited is when the Digimon attacks, that's Growlmon or Gallimon its name. You choose an opponent's Digimon with three DP or less and delete it. So it's mostly there for the search so that you can um, look for Takato and Gallimon and Growlmon just to kind of help you get into your Digi Digivolution stacks. And then... Lastly, for our rookies, this wouldn't be an X Antibody deck, this is an X Antibodies. So we have Gilmon X Antibody. What it does is on Digivolution, you can delete an opponent's Digimon with three DP or less, and then it's inherited as it increases the, the deletion effects by 1000 DP. So anything that has like a limit, like here with a 3K, it can go up to four, depending on how many cards have the uh, inherited ability. So we're for that as well. And that's pretty much it. We're just doing the 12 rookies, all with the Gilmons in their name. Moving on to our champions, four ground ones. So this is the ground one from the start deck as well. It doesn't have a main ability, but it has a very low play cost and it has a really good inherited ability as well. It's uh, when an opponent's Digimon is deleted, you gain a memory. So it makes it really easy to just kind of get your memory back. This deck struggles a little bit with memory gaining. So there's, there's the added bonus of that. For our champions, we are running four copies of Gramon X Antibody. So Gramon X Antibody is similar. It allows you to digivolve for zero on the Gramon, so you can get the inherited really easily and digivolve for free. It also has the same inherited effect as Gilmon X Antibody, which is you increase the maximum DP on DP based deletion effects by 1k. So you know you have both this one and Gilmon X Antibody, you can increase the 2k, and you know it's just a free search and it's a free Digivolve. And there's a lot of X Antibody searching in this deck as well. Not a lot, but there's some. <laughs> and it's just a, another target and it helps you Digivolve for free on the Gramon. So we're running those. Lastly, for our champions, I am running the one Lagoonimon. Lagoonimon allows you to Digivolve onto one of your red Tamers for its Digivolution cost. And because Tamers don't have summoning sickness, you can swing with it right away. So it helps you with like pushing for extra security damage or swinging for game. So without getting into our ultimates. Four copies of the War Growlmon from the start deck. So this is all just play sets from the start deck. Main ability is when it attacks, you delete one of your opponent's Digimon with three DP or less. Its inherited is when an opponent's Digimon is deleted, you can give this Digimon a security plus one. Because you're gonna go into Gallimon and Gallimon X anybody to swing and you know trash some security stacks, you have 
the ability to get an extra security out of that swing as well. So this is a really good ability for Grommon, especially because we're running four Grommon X antibodies. And because Grommon X antibodies uh, digivolution requirements says you can digivolve onto War Grommon for zero, meaning you can just digivolve immediately and have the inherit access to the inherited effect. Uh, War Grommon X antibodies main effect is when it digivolves, you choose two of your opponent's Digimon and they gain the effect of on deletion, you lose a memory. So this helps you gain some memory back. And then continuing that, if you have, you have War Grommon or the X antibody option in this Digivolution cards, you can delete an opponent's Digimon that has 6k DP or less. So you delete something, you can immediately activate the security plus one effect, so that's going off immediately. And then you can swing from there if you want, but you can kind of keep going with Galmon for your next Digivolution as well. So these two together go, go well, hand in hand. Uh, that's it for our ultimates, we're only running the eight. Now I'm just going to jump right into our Megas, starting off with Galamon. So we're running three copies of Galamon from the start deck. So what this Galamon does is it has get free given security plus one, so when it swings it has an extra security. Second effect is when it attacks, you delete one of your opponent's Digimon with 4D, 4k DP or less. If you didn't delete anything, this gains another 3k DP when it swings, so it's swinging for 14 if you don't delete. And if you combine this with the fact you have, you know, War Ground on, you can swing for plus 2 security instead, so you can take care of 3 of your opponent's security sacks. Galamon is great. Going even further than that, it goes really well with Galamon X Antibody. Galamon X Antibody's effect, uh, main thing is that you can Digivolve for 1 on top of your Galamon, which is nice. The effect of when it Digivolves, you can delete one of your opponent's Digimon with the lowest DP. If no Digimon was deleted, you can unsuspend this. So after your Galamon, when your, after your Galamon swings, you can Digivolve onto it, and then if nothing's deleted, you can restand. And then the second ability is when an opponent's Digimon is deleted, if Galamon or X Anybody are in this Digivolution cards, you can just trash your opponent's security, the top of their security stack, for free. So this card is what pushes for game, gets rid of security, super easy, super aggressive deck overall, and these two together just make for some really big uh, combos once you get to your Mega. So we're still working on some Megas, but now we're going to our level 7s. Galamon Crimson Mode, this thing is insanely good. So Crimson Mode uh, does Digivolve for six, but that's fine, because we have uh, Takato, and Takato will get into that in a little bit. Let's it swing even if you go over the memory cost. When it Digivolves, you delete all of, uh, all of your opponent's Digimon with the highest DP. Second is when it attacks, you trash the top of your opponent's security, and then for every 10 of your opponent's cards in their trash, you do it again. So you can swing, trash, if they have 10 in the trash, or trash security, if they have 10 cards in their trash, they trash another security, and then swing at them for another security, or swing at them for game. So Crimson Mode is a game ender for sure. Really, really good card, especially because Takato gives Blitz. And last but not least for our Megas, Blitz Omnimon. This is the BT5 Omnimon. Uh, it has when it digivolves, it has Blitz. And then the second ability is when you digivolve, you want to suspend this Digimon. So after you swing with all your attacks, you just digivolve and then you stand. Its third effect is all turns. If an opponent's Digimon would delete it or return this to the hand or deck, you may prevent it by trashing a level six from this Digivolution stack. So you can keep it on the board. This is uh, similar to Crimson Mode. It's just kind of like help you swing for another attack and help you kind of go for game in that regard. So it's still a really good card. Blitz Omnimon is always like a, a decent standard for some red blue decks. Done with the Digimon, now we're working on our Tamers. So I was talking about this card earlier, so I'll go ahead and start talking about it now. I'm running three Takata. Uh, I know four is usually the way to go, but I'm kind of kind of being a little ballsy playing the three. Um, I think it works fine, but you usually want to go with four because this card is pretty much how you're able to be so aggressive. So what Takato does is during your turn, when an opponent's Digimon is deleted, you can suspend this to gain a memory. Its second effect is when your Digimon would Digivolve into a Digimon with Gallimon or Gramon in its name, you can give that Digimon, when Digivolves, Blitz. So it's the same effect that Omnimon has, except you're giving it to everything that has Gal uh, Gramon or Gallimon in its name. So Crimson Mode, X Anybody, regular Gallimon, they all are going to have Blitz the minute they Digivolve and they're going to activate 
their effects when they attack, which is really nice, or when they did you that. So it's just really cool that you can do those effects. Um, Takato is a for sure staple, makes the deck work. Um, if you're building this deck, make sure you got the Takatos. Uh, going into the next tamer, playing Heroes. Um, Heroes are memory resetter. So what it does is uh, at the start of your turn, if you have two or less memory, you just go to three. So that way your opponent can't leave you with just the one memory. Great card to help with that. And then the second effect is when you attack with a Digimon with Gamamon in its name or a level five or higher. So we don't have Gamamon, so we're doing a level five or higher. You can suspend this tamer to give it an extra two DP. So this is to kind of just help you make sure that whatever you're swinging with has a little bit higher DP so that it doesn't get deleted from the security uh, check. Lastly for tamers, two of the cool boys. Uh, we run X antibody cards, so the cool boys do come in handy. What cool boy does is on play, look at top three, look for a Digimon with X antibody in its traits or the option card itself, X antibody, add it to your hand. Uh, if you find both, you can add them both to your hand, which is nice. Uh, you put the rest in the bottom of your deck. Second effect is when you digi when your Digimon digivolves into a same level Digimon with X antibody, you can suspend Cool Boy to gain a memory and draw. So essentially just, you know, taking your Digimon, it's the same level, you digivolve for free, then you with Cool Boy, you suspend it, get it drawn some memory. So that's also really helpful. Um, but also the fact that it's a uh, tamer with only two memories, so it's super easy to play, it can help you search for certain cards that you're looking for, and it can help you gain some memory. So Cool Boy's a great addition to the Gallimon deck. So I kind of already talked about this card a little earlier, it's the X Antibody option. So we're running two copies of it. What it does is it allows you to put it into a Digimon for free if it doesn't already have X Antibody in the Digivolution cards. Uh, you can play it regardless of color requirements. It has the security effect of when you security check it, you can gain a memory and then add it to your hand. So that's kind of cool too. Kind of, it's one of those security options that actually messes with your opponent's turn, which is nice. The really cool part is the inherited effect. So what it does is effects can't trash X anybody in its Digivolution cards. So if your opponent says trash the, the bottom most card of your opponent's stack, this just does not get deleted, which is nice. The second effect is when attacking, this Digimon can Digivolve into an X Antibody card uh, from your hand for its Digivolution cost. So that means that if you are currently sitting on, let's say you're currently sitting on Gallimon and it's swinging and you're already activating the Blitz because you went over the memory, you can use the X Antibody option for paying its Digivolution cost to Digivolve again, so then that way you can, you know, Digivolve mid-attack, and because of Gallimon X Anybody's effect of when it Digivolves, if there's nothing to delete, it restands. So you can swing, and then it restands, and then the on Digivolution, let's say maybe you on Digivolve while it swings, you just trash the opponent's top security stack, and then it swings again. So there's some really cool combos you can do with the X Anybody trait, but obviously there are some cards that are going to say it needs either the previous form or the X antibody option in the stack for its effect to go off, so that's why this is still helpful. Next up are options, we're running two red memory boost. So red memory is when you play it for its main effect, you look at the top four cards of your deck, search for a red Digimon and add it to your hand, the rest go to the bottom, and then it has a delayed effect, so it sits in your I guess you could say your option board or where you keep, you're going to keep your option cards. Um, so what you can do is you can trash this card uh, and you can gain two memory. So on the next turn, after the turn you've used this, you can just have two memory ready to go for a future play. So this is just helpful if, there, if I'm maybe searching for a rookie or searching for uh, an ultimate, I can play this and kind of look at top four, look for something, and then I'll know for a future play I can just trash it gain some memory for some uh, wicked kill turn. And lastly for our options, I'm running one Judgment of the Blade. This is mostly because uh, I really don't like Alpha Mon. <laughs> uh, what Judgment of the Blade does is its main effect is whenever you Digimon with Huck, uh, Huckmon or Royal Knight in its traits can attack your opponent's unsuspended Digimon. So 
you know, that way the Alphamon or even any Digimon that's just standing, five enough DP that can kill it, I can swing at it to delete it. And then that way after it's deleted, I can activate my own deletion effects. Um, its security effect just basically lets me add it to my hand. We're not running sister mons, but this is basically just my tech for beating um, certain decks that have deletion prevention because the whole deck is focused around deleting. That was it. That was it for the deck. I've been having a lot of fun playing Digimon. Um, Miles and Jose kind of got me into it. And uh, Jose already knows that I really like night aesthetic Digimon and I really like Gallimon's like whole look and vibe in general. So he was willing to help me out build the deck and I really appreciate it. Shout out to Jose for helping me build my Gallimon deck. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'm looking forward to showing some more Digimon content in the near future and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.